Hello there kitties, I'm Kari, the vacuum tube witch, and this is the first episode of the new series here that I named Kari's Revenge, not Yuri's Revenge. And um, the first device I, I'd like to show you because uh, this is gonna be a pretty long series on Turdowns and reverse engineering of um, electronic devices. I'll be going through various uh, printed circuit boards. I'll be taking things apart. Uh, I'll be analyzing how they work uh, and uh, maybe also using the parts uh, that I uh, salvaged from them uh, for my different projects. And uh, the first thing I'd like to go through is the audio track um, and later ESI Maya 1010 sound card. It was a professional or semi-professional um, grade uh, sound card that had uh, 8 uh, analog inputs and uh, 8 uh, analog outputs and um, on top of that it also had uh, two digital inputs and two digital outputs. The analog inputs could work uh, with the microphone levels uh, for the first and second channel and, um, and uh, the line levels um, for the six uh, channels numbered three towards uh, eight. And um, the analog outputs uh, were uh, typical um, line level unbalanced uh, with an exception of uh, channel 7 and 8 where, where um, headphones could be connected. And uh, I've got this uh, little thing of beauty from my, um, my friend who works for an IT company. They used uh, this card for some um, audio processing and uh, this card had a um, breakout box uh, connected uh, with a cable and uh, the connection is made uh, using the D sub miniature connector, the 44 pin one, high density and uh, I'd like to use this card uh, in my lab, in my studio. It's pretty old, but I think it's gonna work pretty fine. I'm gonna figure out uh, the connections uh, on uh, this interface um, because uh, I'd like to route some uh, signals uh, into it and from it. So, Let's get down to the business of reverse engineering this um, ESI Maya 1010 sound card. <laughs> 